I'm winning so far, guys. Woo! Oh! And it's on. Hey loves, welcome back. So we're doing another JML Testy Try product video. Um, in my last video where I tried the eyebrow magic. Um, I asked if you had any recommendations of any new JML products to try and a couple of people messaged me with this product. So, you know I had to pick it up. It is Finishing Touch, a flawless facial hair remover. Oh. So I picked up this little guy, it's 19.99. It's seen on TV. I've never seen it on TV, but that's not gonna stop me. It removes hair instantly and pain-free. I'm kind of nervous, kind of excited. It says it's perfect for facial hair. Obvs. Gentle on all skin types. No bumps, no redness, no irritation. The bumps, redness and irritation are probably three of the scariest words I've ever heard when it comes to your face. So I'm, I'm pleased that there's none of that. Um, it says there's a built-in light. So you can remove your facial hair in the dark. No. It lets you see even the finest of hairs. And it's discreet. It's quite large to be discreet, but I'm not gonna judge just yet. I went for the blush edition. <laughs> there were a few options, but I love me a bit of rose gold. I'm a bit of a magpie, so I went for this one. I think there was like a cream one. There were some other ones, and there was a brow one made just for brows. But I wanted to remove my moustache and beard, I'm not gonna lie, so let's have a look. There's no instructions on the back. It just says, warnings, this is not a toy. Removing face hair is not a game. Is it? It's not a game. Keep out of the reach of children and for external use only. For dry use only, do not use with shaving foam or moisturiser. Do not immerse in water. So you can't go swimming and remove your facial hair at the same time. Noted. Oh wait, there is instructions. It's very, very small down here. For best res that noise was my elbow, not my bottom. For best results, use in a circular motion and follow the instructions on the guide within. There's a guide within, aren't we pleased? Let's crack it open and remove our facial hair with the finishing touch flawless facial hair remover. What is it with these packages? I always look like such a wimp. I'm like, oh, let's try it down this side. There's a sticker. Here we go. Woo! Instructions, discreet flawless facial removal. A lot of packaging. So it comes in a box, within a box, within a plastic tray with a plastic lid. Oh, <laughs> look at that lovely little brush. What's this for? For like sticking up your hairs before. I'm sure that's for cleaning hair from here. Oh yeah, there's images. And instructions quick start guide more about the quick start guide there's a lot of words on there let's use the quick start guide image one remove cap let's follow the instructions remove cap Ooh. oh that's not the cap <laughs> i was like oh i don't get it that's not the cap that's obviously where the batteries go so i've broken it already remove cap Depending on, no, remove cap. That's where the batteries go. You didn't see that bit. Right, remove cap. Oh, Lord. Install battery. Remove cap. Install battery. Grab the upper section of the unit with one hand, the bottom half with the other hand, and pull apart. Image two. Perfect. I just realised something. I'm getting all excited. It, there's no batteries included. Oh, right down here in tiny, tiny print, it says battery not included. Isn't that always the way? I'll be back. I need to find a battery. I'm blatantly just going to go and take it out of the remote control downstairs. Forget to put it back in and then anger my whole entire household when they can't turn the TV over. I'm back with the battery. And it's brand new, surprisingly. So there's that. Insert battery. I'm winning so far, guys. Woo! Oh! And it's on. How do you turn it off? Oh. So it definitely works. Was that not the most dramatic thing you've ever seen? Right, it says here to remove hair, use in circular motion image four. And image four is just like this lady with a lovely pink hairband. 
just doing this so that's good i am going to read the other instructions change your battery we've done that battery safety blah 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 let's get to the nitty gritty how to use remove finishing touch cap we did that slide the switch uh, on position and the light will automatically turn on when it's on it's quite loud not very discreet the light it's hard to tell the light is just oh it's very noisy the light is just there it's not coming from here it's coming from this little tiny little light led there gently press the head of the unit flat against your skin the unit should not be at an angle oh my pea brain is already going oh no. don't cut your face proceed making small circular motions to remove unwanted hair it's normal for the head to become warm with use how warm are we talking cleaning Twist the rotating hair removal head counterclockwise and lift off image four. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that undoes. And I collect all my beard in there. After each use, clean using the brush included to wipe away the hair residue. Where are you, tiny brush? For air brush like makeup application used daily. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you something I have been using in the past. I've been using this for quite a few years and it's it works really, really well. This is the Brow Shaper by Lilabeth. I got this from Amazon. It's basically like a little flip razor and you can use it. And the way I use it is just on my face, kind of in a downward motion. This was designed to use mainly around your eyebrow area, but you can use it on the rest of your face. And you can use it kind of in between your brows Um you know, underneath your brows to really quickly, easily um, and pain free remove any hairs. And I love this. It's super quick, easy and it works. Um, not very expensive, lasts a really long time. Great for travel. So I, I really like those. I'll link them in the comments just in case you want to check them out. But I've been, like I said, I've been using these for years. But let's up our game with this bad boy. So let's talk about the packaging. Like I said, I went for the blush one. It says it's discreet. Looking at it, I guess it could be like a little perfume or, a, or you know, a foundation or something. The thing is it being discreet is that the second you get it out and you turn it on and you start removing hair from your face, it, it's no longer discreet. So the fact that it's discreet doesn't really matter to me, but I do appreciate the packaging. Okay, should we remove some facial hair? I normally get a bit of peach fuzz around here um and when that peach fuzz isn't there my makeup just looks and applies much nicer I slide gold switch up to turn on it's really quite noisy okay here we go oh i can hear it the second it hits my face i can hear it I'm removing hair <laughs> obviously Right, let's get this hair all out of the way. And circular motions, right? So I'm going to do, I'm barely applying any pressure at all. And I, it's totally pain free. I can't feel it removing, you know, it's not hurting at all. It's not leaving my skin red at all. And I can hear it. Definitely removing hair. Let's try the top lip. It's slightly warm now, but it's not in any way hot. I feel like maybe if I pull my skin a little bit more taut here. It's very comfortable. It's not painful. Let's turn this off because that is a little bit annoying. Is my face red? No, when I feel here, I can feel that this feels incredibly smooth. When I feel here, I can feel the little peach fuzzies. I'm going to turn it off and empty it out and see if there's anything inside. Oh, there is. There's not a great deal. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There is definitely peach fuzz. <laughs> there's definitely peach fuzz in there. Maybe we'll use a little brush to remove some of it. You see that there is definitely some peach fuzz in there and it's quite a lot inside actually so it has worked it has removed there we go can you see that look at that beard there's definitely some peach fuzz there that it's removed i've not nicked my face i've not cut my face it wasn't uncomfortable 
it didn't burn, it didn't get hot, it wasn't painful, um, and it's worked. I think I really like it. Let's see with the other side. I don't know if you can hear the difference. So that's when it's running on its own. I can definitely hear when it hits hair. Okay, let's turn it off. Let's see how much fuzz is in this side. <laughs> oh my God. This is truly disgusting, but I have to show you this. So these are all the little fuzzies that are on my cheek and my top lip. They kind of stick out so that, you know, my makeup would cling to it. Powders would look powdery and worse. Now my face is smooth as a baby's bum. I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. This works. It's so quick and easy to use. You can pop this in your bag if you're going away. There's a little stick on here to remind you to use it in circular motions. I guess because the outside of it doesn't necessarily rotate, you need to rotate in order to kind of pick up all of the little fuzzies. I know a lot of people are nervous about removing facial hair because they're worried that the hair's gonna go back thicker and darker and more coarse. Um, I think that's what we're told. You know, if you shave your legs as a kid too early, it's gonna, it's gonna grow back worse. The same with our facial hair. And that's not always the case. Obviously hair growth is somewhat genetic and it's very personal. But for me, when I've waxed my top lip or I've used hair removal cream, it's never grown back thicker or darker. Um, and I really, really like this. I'm actually quite impressed. My face is totally smooth. There's no redness or irritation, which means I can get on and put my makeup on immediately. You know, if you, sometimes when you wax, your skin gets red and angry and inflamed and sore. And if you're doing it at home, especially, it doesn't often work and you have to do it a number of times. I have to say, this is a winner for me. I'm a little bit surprised. I don't know why I'm surprised. I don't know what I was expecting. I'm gonna keep using it. I will update you in the comments if anything changes, if I grow a beard overnight or anything like that. Finishing touch, flawless, hairless, painless face remover thing. It's a winner. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It helps me out massively. And if you enjoyed this and you fancy seeing any more JML product testing videos, then click subscribe so that you don't miss any of my uploads. I will definitely test out some more JML products. And if you know of any or you've seen any online or on your shopping travels and you want me to try them, let me know in the comments. I'd love to try them. I'm gonna link this little bad boy in the comments as well so that you can find it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.